Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to claim your Ethereum, POW, or ETHW tokens in your MetaMask wallet. Now, for starters, you would have had to hold ETH before the actual merge in order to be eligible for these free ETHW tokens. And if you did hold ETH in your MetaMask wallet before the merge, September 15th, you do basically have some of the free ETHW tokens waiting for you to claim in your MetaMask wallet. Now, the ETHW tokens are brand new tokens of the Ethereum POW blockchain. Since the merge occurred, there was a fork and the proof of work blockchain continued on with the miners known as the Ethereum POW blockchain. And that is how these ETHW tokens were created. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's go claim our free tokens. And so if we jump over here to coin market cap, you can see they now have ETH POW listed or the token ticker symbol is actually ETHW. And currently the price is trading at around $8.17. Now it did reach a high of around $18 or $19, but it has since crashed. And so at the end of the day, it's not too big of a surprise that the value of these tokens is dumping you have people claiming these free tokens essentially and dumping them and cashing in on these free tokens so in order for you to claim your free tokens you'll need to go to your metamask wallet so you just open up your metamask wallet and you can see in my metamask wallet the ethereum mainnet i currently have in my account number three 0.1461 ETH or around $200 worth of ETH. Now, I do actually have multiple accounts connected to this MetaMask wallet, and you can see account number two also has 0.049 ETH or probably around $70 worth of ETH in that, and then account one has zero. ETH. So now in order for me to claim my ETHW tokens that would match up to the ETH tokens that I hold, I just need to come over to the tab that says ETH mainnet, give that a click and drop down to the bottom of the list where it says add network and give that a click. And that will bring up the screen that will allow me to manually add the new network or blockchain for ETH POW. Now, before I go too much further, you want to be extremely careful where you get this information and put it into your MetaMask wallet. You put the wrong info in here and someone could actually have access to your MetaMask wallet. So I recommend you actually go to the ETH POW website and that way you can get the information directly from the source. And to get to that website, if I jump back over here to CoinMarketCap, I can click on the link from CoinMarketCap. That will bring me directly over here to the ETH POW website. Click on Get Started, and that will bring you over to this page. And from here, you want to click on Mainnet, and that will bring up this Medium post that will actually have all the intel you need to populate your MetaMask wallet. And that would be this Mainnet info you see here. And so again, if I jump back over to the MetaMask configuration page, I need the network name, new RPC URL, the chain ID, currency symbol. Now I know the currency symbol is ETHW and then the block explorer URL and that's optional. But I can get all that intel over here. And so the first thing on the list would be the network name. So if I copy that. I can paste that in right here under network name, new RPC URL. I can copy that as well and paste that here. Next is the chain ID. So we'll go and grab that and that's 10,001. Paste that in its spot. Uh, currency symbol is ETHW. And again, if you jump back over to the page, you can see that the currency symbol is that ETHW. And then the last item is your Block Explorer URL. We'll copy the first one here and then paste it in its spot. And now I should be good to go. So I click Save. And you can see in my account three, I now have that 0.1461 ETHW, which does correspond to the amount of ETH I actually had in that particular account three. Now, if I jump over here to account two, you can see I have a little bit of ETH being held over in account two. So if I click on account two, and under my Ethereum mainnet, you can see I have about $70 worth of ETH. And so if I jump over to the ETHW mainnet, 
you can see I now have the same amount of ETH W that I had in actual ETH. Now, if you're curious where you could actually unload this ETH W, if you want to cash in on essentially this free money, you can jump over to OKX and they're set up to take deposits on the ETH W and then you can jump over to the spot market and sell your ETH W into USDT. And again, you can see that at one point in time, the ETH W did reach a high of almost $19. It has, however, dumped pretty much down here to about $8.50. But if you want to go ahead and dump your ETH W, you can definitely do that over here on OKX. However, you might decide to go ahead and hold on to your ETH W tokens, see if the price does eventually pump. Maybe you hold on to them going into the next bull market and hope that they pump as these second tier or third tier tokens often do when new buyers come into the crypto world. Instead of buying ETH, a lot of these new buyers buy the similar tickers at a much lower price thinking that they'll have more room to go up and so you might hold on to your ETH W for the next bull run but that is totally up to you I will probably hold on to these tokens until we see the next bull market so I think that's enough jaw jacking for this video if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if you're not already subscribed to the channel you might want to shoot that subscribe button if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comment section down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video